sharp stones. I am my mother's savage daughter. I will not cut my hair. I will not lower my voice. My mother's child is. Hey, hey. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. How are you, sweetie? Oh, I am good. We are back again, aren't we? Back again. We have not had a night off. <laughs> <laughs> nope. <laughs> we Let's have had a busy again. week. I know. So, Tiffany says that she will be back after dance and sing tonight. Oh, my gosh. Okay. I bet, I bet that's so much fun. I know. That does sound fun. Right. And... Reagan said hello to you and Tiffany. Okay. And, yep. And Mr. Wolf is here and he says, Oh, I guess it. <laughs> hey, <laughs> um, Wolf, Reagan, <laughs> Tiffany, when you come back, Sunny D, Heather, mm -hmm. and Rarely Care. So she's listening. Hey, Rarely Care. Nice to see you. Right. I'm glad nice. y'all are here. Nice to see everybody that's here. Um, so, what's everybody been doing today? Um, Megan, well, we're almost a Friday, so I am thrilled. Right. It's been a long week. I have felt like this week has really just been dragging by. I know I said that the other night when we were live, but um, finally, we're, you know, wrapping it up, and tomorrow's Friday. I'm ready for the weekend. Yeah, yeah. We've been busy, though. We've been so busy. Hey, Zaya, how are you? Hey, Zaya. Good to see you too, sweetie. Um, so what did you do today other than school and work? and? Yeah, work school, work. Um, <laughs> and I had forgotten a couple of things at the store yesterday, so I ran back real what? quick just to grab. Yeah, I mean, you know, it was like two things that I really needed too. I, I hate when I do uh, that, but I left them off my list. So when I don't write mm -hmm. things down on my list, or type yeah. them on a list in my phone, I'm going to forget. So Well, you you were um, too busy on the cookie aisle, so I get it. Exactly. I was looking at all the Oreos. <laughs> that's why I forgot the butter. So I had to go back but, for butter, basically. Uh, but um, anyway. Hey, April. So, hey, April's April. here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm recording in April. I, I You know I got to watch my Grey's Anatomy. So it's um, I recorded it, and I'll watch it later tonight or tomorrow. Yeah. That's just something I never watched. I, and, oh, you know. my God. Please go to Netflix, like, ASAP and start binging it. I've watched it, like, the whole thing over three times already. <laughs> so well, how I many seasons of that is? Like, a hundred? I mean, that's... There's a lot. <laughs> There's yeah. a lot. Um, yeah. So, I would yeah, be watching it's still Netflix. good. It never, it never yeah. gets old. Like, I love it now as much as I loved it when it first started. I mean, of course I love the original cast better, but you know, I still love the show as much as I did on day one. Right. Hey, moderate. Yeah, how are you? Season. Moderate's here with us tonight too. So, um, <clears throat> he wants to play games. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going to do that on Sunday. So you can come yeah, back yeah. for the game night on Sunday, which I don't know what we're playing yet. We haven't decided, but we'll figure it mm -hmm. out. Right. So I know everybody enjoyed <laughs> Hangman um, last week. So, you know, that's always yeah, that a possibility fun. where we could play that again or we could go back to trivia. So y'all yeah. can let me know what y'all want to do. But right. uh, we were just really wanting to hang out and, of course, kind of talk about what's been going on this week um, out in the YouTube streets and Twitter streets because, you know, it's always something, right? Right. And yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, hey, I know Ray. you had some stuff you wanted to address, Michelle, right. first. So I'm yeah, going to let you probably. go ahead. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> Hold on. I've got <clears throat> an issue. Um, okay. So this is going to seem like totally off the beaten path. But in light of some things that happened earlier today, um, I just want to say to everybody and say to those of you that are up there on the roof lurking that we do not nor will we ever allow any kind of racism racist comments 
um, addict shaming, addict shaming comments, mom shaming, mom shaming comments on our channel anywhere, whether you're in the live chat, whether you're leaving a comment on a video that we've already done, whether you are leaving comments on our community tab or shorts, those will immediately be taken down and you will be blocked from the channel right. forever. So I just want to make sure that everybody understands that. And if anybody doesn't understand it, I can give it to you. <clears throat> you know, I can write it out, put it on the community tab where everybody can read it. I just want everybody to understand that. Um, Megan and uh, Wolf have went through pure hell for several years due to um, people, I'll say, um, addict shaming, um, mom shaming, and um, race, racism towards Wolf. Um, and enough is enough. Enough is enough. That is the lowest form of behavior that anybody can ever do. So if anybody's unclear, you can um, get back with me. You can DM me. You can do whatever, and I will explain it to you again. Am I clear? Okay. I hope so. I hope that was clear enough. I mean. Oh, that was very clear. Yeah. I think you explained yeah. it beautifully. Thank okay. you for that. You're yeah. welcome. You're welcome. I mean, it never... I mean, well, I really doesn't surprise me from some of these people that they make these type of comments, especially when they go as low as, you know, making the racist comments towards Wolf or other people or whoever it is. And, you know, it seems like they always have an excuse to back it up, which there is no damn excuse to ever right. say anything like that. But I'm sorry, but there's not. So right. absolutely not. Yeah. And, you know, of course, it, they, it was happening again today. Um, I think I've seen it a lot lately, in fact, on Twitter. And I know it gets thrown. Um, it gets thrown at Wolf a lot. But, you know, Wolf does not. And it's it, it said, which we're going to see some of that, too. I'm going to show you all on some screenshots in a minute. But it's said that he uses it as a shield, just like they say I use you know, my addiction and recovery, which is not true. You know, um, I think Wolf and I both kind of are doing the same thing with both of these issues where we're trying to, you know, call out the bad behaviors, um, you know, spit the facts and put out the truth and then expose these people for the shitty trolls that they are. So. Right. But yeah. um I've never seen, yeah. you know, Wolf do anything. He doesn't go around addict shaming people on purpose. He doesn't go around attacking, harassing, threatening like a lot of you do. Right. Right. Um, you're right, Linda. This is just common human decency. Explanations shouldn't be needed. However, um, they are. Um so, and it's sad, you know, it's really, really sad because, oh, God, just don't get me started because I will never shut up. Hey, Maud, it's good to see you, too. I saw your comment. Hey, Maud. Yeah, I just typed in that while you were talking. I just typed in there, too. Um, I know. So, of course, it got nasty today. And, you know, I remember last week when we met and had a similar kind of chat and we showed screenshots because, and I said, I bet y'all can't even go a week. You know, I thought maybe they were going to do it, but no, they couldn't. They couldn't, really couldn't even go, what, 24 hours? Absolutely. Not even two days. So, yeah. <laughs> without uh, saying really nasty things, whether it was racist comments, addict shaming, mom shaming, you know, they're still trying to go after the fact that Lily came in for all of what, 30 seconds and said, happy birthday. Right. I mean, yeah. they, because that's all they have. I mean, they just can't let it go and they look so stupid, you know, and they're saying things like, Oh, everybody sees it and stuff. No, they don't. Only, only the trolls are saying stuff because it's all you have to throw at me. Right. So, and y'all look really stupid. 
and obsessed and like the piece of shit trolls that you are. Right. Heather, you're fixing to say it. Um, she said, unless someone sends stuff to me, she sees nothing. <laughs> But they right, are all right. but they are all wackadoodles. They are worth nothing. But <laughs> but yeah, you're right, Heather, but you are fixing to see um some of the uh Yeah, Wolf, I don't blame you. You don't have to be nice to anybody that you know was racist to you for over a year. I don't blame you there. You don't owe that person anything because you know that person has been really, really nasty to you for a very very long time and have said things that nobody should ever hear or you know what i'm saying i mean it's been one nasty thing after another so i don't blame you there you know i feel the same way about my stalker so <laughs> anyway um, yeah well, how about we look at some screenshots y'all yeah yeah to see you some know, of the nasty from these morons yeah, and it's so funny to me that, <laughs> you know, I don't know who is the mole in their community over there, the troll community, but it seems like the minute, the a minute that something is said, um, either you or myself get it. Or somebody it. else in yeah, the group yeah. gets it. Yeah. Right. It's, it's always... Crazy. It's always somebody. I mean, I'm pretty sure I know who it is, but, you know, um, anyway. Right. They, <laughs> they, they, I know they trust that person a lot, but whatever. <laughs> so, yeah. You know, yeah. it is yeah. what it is. Um, Let me get in front so of my We're going to start. Now, these, um, these big dummies right here have been making a lot of really nasty comments, whether it's to Wolf to uh katie is a liar or to maya nova who y'all have all heard me say that i you know I, I adore all i mean of course you know how i feel about wolf but i adore katie is a liar and maya nova you know they've been around a while and i you know love their tweets i love to hear what they have to say you know they're not trying to bother anybody they just uh, they tweet about what they're passionate about is kind of how i look at it and of course They've been getting jabbed at a lot too by some of these trolls. So um, I think with the hopes that they're going to like snap and act, you know, and go off on them. And I don't think they're getting the reaction that they hope for, of course. So, um, what is a lemon grab? I, there's no telling. She comes up with things, you know, that okay. she just pulls them out right out of her nasty butt. But anyway. <laughs> okay. Um, I feel this should be the wolf ender every time he starts bitching, you know, like wolf can, he's net wolf is never nasty to them ever. Like he may, he might kind of like clear something up or, you know, um, I don't know. He's, it's never threatening or really mean or anything. And they act like it's just the end of the world that he's even commenting. And he has the right to comment when they're sitting there attacking him like this. So, absolutely. Yes. He absolutely and the same with does. the others, you know, that they go after. So, right. yeah. um, truth hurts. I know I enjoy you both trying to cope with the fact that Suzanne deleted her video due to the live stream, due to my live stream. Now, where was my pop? Where was my popcorn? They're so, I mean, they, of course, they think they know everything about that whole situation. I'm not going into it. There's a lot of tweets I wish I could show that I can't show due to you know, legal reasons. But anyway, um, apparently those channel owners do not take my advice as Suzanne deleted her video after my live stream. And this is rich coming from someone without a channel. Like again, you know, um, Manya, Chesh, all of them always think they know everything. Um, and then let me get to the really good ones. See, they just make me mad. Um, and uh, so you don't even know how to use gifts. You are sad and pathetic. And that was go her going at Maya Nova. And why, why would you say that? Of course she knows how to use gifts. And it, this is just to be mean, you know? I didn't lose you, did I? 
No. Or lose. Okay. I was like, I don't hear anything. You're not talking. Did I lose connection? No, um, I'm Okay, I'm, I'm reviewing a video <laughs> about me, you melon. So this was, I think, to Rennell, um, uh -huh. that Cheshire made. I put, y'all, I put a link in the chat. It's You could scroll up a little ways and you'll see it. I could put it again later too, but Rennell made a really good brand new video today. Y'all go check it out when you when you get time. It is very, is that very a bottle? This, huh? Is that a liquor bottle? That she's got turned I think up. So. Yeah, she's wow. um she's slamming it down right there, it looks like. Wow. So okay. um my goodness. Would you like to read this one? Because it's real tiny for me. I will. Okay. So <laughs> Chopper Lily says he called out Beta Lion Snake for months. My hero and bullied little old Meg. They say karma is a dish best served cold. You make me laugh. And so, wow, Wolf responds, what did she lie about? The email fiasco was looked into. The email legit came from Meta Facebook. There was no lie there. She actually didn't do anything wrong there. Anything. You didn't like her approach. Oh, well, get over it. There was nothing wrong there. It is what it is. and Yeah, I mean, yeah. that's been cleared up and basically put right. to bed. You know, I'm sorry that some of you are too stupid <laughs> to understand it, but, um, you know, there is no issue there. It was proven that she did not, she was not asking for anybody's IDs or anything like that for any, you know, nefarious reasons. So y'all need to let that go. I mean, the proof has been shown over and over again. And, yeah. um, you know, I had an issue. I put something on my community tab. When was that last week that this idiot had to say, like, I don't know. She just came and inserted herself in everything after a really long time. And then she threw UK Joe at me and I hadn't seen that person in like over two years. I don't even know why she brought that up. It was so weird. It's like, okay. Yeah. Um, and, and of course she threw that whole thing with, you know, the, uh, the Amazon thing with Lily from a few, three years ago and all that, you, you know, we talked about it last week. So this right. was just another, another stupid comment she made. Right. That's ridiculous. So, um, oh, so this is basically it. I guess I had left it in here or maybe put it back in here. I don't remember, but so I had, you know, just put them all in here at one time, but oh, yeah, um, yeah, yeah that's where she said, Hey, I sent Meg's daughter a Christmas gift and her a candle from a few years back from her Amazon wish list. She was on the other side of my street, but it was a, it was Christmas and she was in need. We weren't friends, but we were part of the community together. Never even got a thank you, which is bullshit. I explained that last week. Everybody was thanked multiple times. She just wanted to be a part of this and insert herself in it and be nasty, get right. some attention, you know? Um, and then she goes on to say, if that doesn't show you her character, weak grifter, all day long to get a smidge of attention she doesn't get in her real life, her and her loser buddy moderate are the worst, shouldn't be trusted. And Megan, if you see this, fuck off for Joe. Nothing worse than a wimpy tag along. For <laughs> Again, I haven't seen Joe in like over two years or maybe longer. I don't remember. And um I, I I don't know where you think you know anything about moderate because I you don't so you might as well just stop with that one and you definitely know nothing about my real life absolutely nothing right again she inserted herself into this to get some attention so there you go you got your attention I hope you're happy okay yeah wolf shouldn't be near kids he calls everyone bitches and is generally manic <laughs> oh God. Did we lose you? No, I'm here. Sorry, I had to talk to Lily okay. for a second. Okay. Um, and I didn't want to read anything. She's she's gone now. Okay. Uh, I had to mute. Sorry. That's okay. Okay. Um, so let me start over. Yeah, wolf shouldn't be near near kids. He calls everyone bitches and is generally manic. Okay. Um, he never called me a bitch. I'll just state that for the record. No, I I don't see him use that word uh, hardly at all. And why should he not be near kids? Okay. He's 
that that's just ridiculous. And I'm sure this has to do with the going along with um, another comment, which y'all are about to see, where they bring up my child again popping into the live to say happy birthday to Wolf and making a total overreacted big deal about it. And the fact that I said that Lily, you know, is mature for her age and all of that stuff. I, and they act like that means she's getting abused. I mean, if they can't take something and twist it, they, they wouldn't, they just can't breathe. I mean, and they only do it, of course, to the people they don't like. So yeah, of course, total disgusting mom shaming, parent shaming pieces of shit. So, you know, I thought this was put to bed, but here comes Willow has to bring it up again because apparently she needs to, you know, be included and get some attention too. So it was too much for most 12 year olds. In my opinion, I wasn't the only one who thought that though. Danny drama did a video. Well, Oh my God, Danny D drama did a video. So, you know, it must mean then everybody believes it then. Well, Oh my <laughs> freaking God, you yeah. know, Jesus. I mean, really nobody gives a shit about Danny drama. I promise you just another piece of shit person, just like you Willow. Yeah. Hey, Tammy Sue. Glad to see you. And so, of course, they show the video. They're trying real hard to make this video get more views and likes. And, you know, all all two likes you got there, Willow. Um, can you guys pick a lane? I think given your height, Chesh, it would be you under my skirt. What, Manya said that? Well, why doesn't that surprise me? Okay, I'm zipping my mouth. <laughs> I'm not saying what word. Margaret's going to get that one. <laughs> Oh, it's been longer than that. They've been like this since Aaron Veda let the cat out of the bag. Oh, my God, please. I was Everybody was going to know that man. anyway because you talked about it too, you dumbass. Right. Um, oh. He won't be able to stand in front of my mama. He going to run and hide like a bitch. I think they're talking about Wolf right there again. He can't yeah. stand in front of anyone. Dude literally spends all his time online with his tail between his legs. Oh, whatever. Yeah, they're talking about Wolf because see, they got him tagged. Mm -hmm. tagged yeah, they thing. do. They yeah. have him tagged. Exactly. Yep. 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 Um, all right. Come on. Pull up. There we go. Okay. Um, and then I want someone like Morgan Freeman to read Maya Katie is a liar or Wolf's tweets out loud like it's properly insane sounding hearing it out loud on its own. But mm, with Morgan Freeman, it would be amazing. So they always have to make fun of how people talk like they're so perfect in what they say and they're right. not. Right. Never heard of the term, one rotten apple ruins the bunch. It doesn't surprise me you don't understand this. I'm using you, you and your little group of transphobic bigot nutsies make them look bad. It's not rocket science, which I've seen this a lot, I, I guess, this week and last week where they're like calling um, a couple of people Nazis and stuff like that. It's yeah. really disgusting. It is. Um, and hey, they, Laura. They, they think that their opinion about some of these topics are, is the the right, the only thing, the only opinion that's allowed to be had. Nobody else is right but them. Right. They haven't figured out that they are unhinged psychos mm -hmm. that are being used to make everyone look bad. <laughs> the only unhinged psychos I'm seeing are y'all. Uh, and I mean, really unhinged. And then she's making fun of the fact that Katie is a liar, locked her Twitter down. What is wrong with that? You locked down not that long ago, Chesh. Everybody has a right to have their Twitter locked or not locked. Why is that a big deal? You know, I mean, that's a choice everybody can make and it's okay either way. Right. Yeah, it is. It is. <clears throat> Nope, apparently I'm so scary they had to lock their whole account. Oh, well, guess that just means less Nazis propaganda for the rest of us. What a shame. Oh, my and God. look who yeah. she's talking to right there. Um, yeah. Flip yeah, flopper extraordinaire, Moby. Right. Um, 
I don't think Steve uses Wolf. I think he provides his filth and services willingly, just as he does to RH. We need t-shirts. Maya and Kale are still at it, I see. Embarrassing for them. No, I mean, it, they're not embarrassed and nothing they're saying mm -hmm. is bad. So the only one that should be embarrassed are y'all. Sometimes y'all yep. say such cringy crap that I literally, you know, like get that feeling of embarrassment for y'all. And mm. then um, the whole comment, of course, they have to throw Steve in there. They can't go. I don't even think that some of them can go a day without bringing Steve up and putting him into all of this. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I've never seen a day go by that his name hadn't been brought up. Can you acknowledge that Steve uses Wolf? Because it's literally on video, LOL. Steve does not use Wolf. They are friends, and they've been pretty good friends for a while. You know, people can be real friends. I know y'all don't know anything about, you know, real friendships, but all of us do. And Steve and Wolf are really friends. Mm -hmm. They are. That's fair, although when you hear them say taking advantage of a mentally unwell woman, nothing comes to mind like Wolf and Steve, LOL, except I think Wolf identifies as a wild canine, not a woman. And then Alice, a.k.a. Island Mama, a.k.a. Piece of Shit Troll, says, that's true. Wolf is obviously mentally unwell. Is Steve any better? Right. Oh, Lord. That's. I mean, everybody has. I mean, well, you have the cat returns as your name. So why is it not OK for Wolf to be called Wolf? I mean, some people choose to, like, go by a screen name because they don't want their real name out there. There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. And if he likes wolves and things like that, so what? These people, the, the things they choose to like go at you about or get mad about or harass people about or are literally so dumb sometimes that they that give me a headache. <laughs> That's how dumb they are. Yeah, I mean, this really is dumb. It really <laughs> is. Maya and Katie is a liar are still at it, I see, which we kind of read that because it was on the end of the other one. And, well, we saw that. I guess that yeah. was part of that one from up above. Okay, yeah. the gang mentality is often used by the ones with the most to hide. I wish more people saw through it. Down the rabbit hole at bedtime is really nasty. It is an example of the type of people that need to win rather than have integrity and decency. Um, she doesn't bother anybody. She does her own thing. She's a really good, you know, content creator. She has a great channel. Love all her videos. And, I mean, she kind of keeps to herself. So I don't know why these people have any issue with her at all. I guess because, you know, she has stood up for herself at, at times. And, of course, they don't like that. So, yeah. or anybody that speaks the truth, really. There are some really good things, good people on here. But the community that pulled me on here sucks. They. What? There are great people on here, or I would have left long ago. No, she's talking about her two friends. I know. Oh, yeah, your two friends who are not really even your friends that are just using you. That won't last either. But anyway, you you have stayed because you are a troll, and that's what you do, and you enjoy trolling people. So if you couldn't troll, you wouldn't be here. Right. I it agree. is wrong. Labeling people, warning others. It's all childish. Can anyone think for themselves anymore? Oh, God. Um, here we go. You know, the person that is just thinks she knows it all about everybody. Right. The yeah. last person you would want to get advice from, Alice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. I mean, she's literally been known as a piece of shit troll for what, like four years now? Three years, something like that. It's been a while by everybody. Hell, even Julie Virgo was calling the bitch out recently. That was freaking hilarious. Okay, yeah, I stopped talking to people on DMs years ago when my own friends accused me of leaking some. Hmm, wonder why that is. 
Joan. Interesting thing about that is you are able to see that people are decent from their posts. I've always known you don't stir anything. She's talking to Alice. Someone needed to stick up for you. So I did. Put Lee's. You have you used to call her out and talk so bad about her. Give me a break. Willow, you are the kindest person. Excuse me while I laugh. You do not. <laughs> <laughs> you do stand up for people when most can't be bothered to get involved or are needing to follow the crowd. You are appreciated so much for that. Love you. Oh, isn't that sweet? Two trolls telling each other how much they love each other because they don't have anybody else. Oh, uh, that's sweet. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> oh I hope she is okay. Regardless, she deactivated for a reason. Just tired of hypocrisy and shady shit. I questioned her, which was wrong, and I apologized. Julie does a whole ex expose on her community tab and is coddled. My initial reaction was wrong. The I was right, thinking further, it doesn't matter. Obviously, someone is hurting if they feel they need to deactivate. That's the issue and none of my business. Her and I aren't friends. I truly hope she's okay. I was wrong. Bullshit, Alice. You know, you, you you reamed Pickle out for weeks and weeks and weeks on Twitter. Post after post after post. And believe me, those can be brought in here at the click of a button if we need to. In fact, I just saw them all today. So, um don't you know this is just you sucking up to some of your new people that you think are your friends now that you're on you know over there with the trolls and and well because you are a troll but you know what i mean so but where did pickle go she ran because she's a liar and i'm all i'm gonna say is who didn't see that one coming and i freaking told y'all so so there's that I think a lot of us knew that one. There's a couple others that are, have done the same thing, but, you know, they'll probably run too eventually. Uh. Yes, that was the day. Last July, I became a shitlord and joined the Blocked by Steve McRae Club. Just disgusting how people sat back and allowed Veda to say such things. First of all, what things are you talking about that Veda said? Was it when she called you out for... Um, some of the horrible things that you did, because that wasn't nasty. That was just speaking the truth. And, you know, um, it, or is it because Veda stood up for herself to some of the people who some of y'all think she didn't have the right to, to stand up to? Because she, I think she had the right to stand up to anybody. I don't care how long you've been here or who you think you are or what your title or what title you think you have. She had that right. So, and nobody can make Veda do anything. So you're saying that, you know, people allowed her to say things. Nobody allowed her to do anything. She can make her own choices and that's what she did. Oh. But I guess we're supposed to be Veda's keepers, right? Um, as important as certain people think I am and talk about me all day and night, even making YouTube, YouTube videos about me, I have no idea who half these people are they talk about. Bullshit. Don't play dumb. You know every last bit of all of it because you are always in it. You have stirred up most of it and have trolled everybody in the community at one time or another. So this play dumb act like you're too busy and don't know what's going on. Nobody believes it except for your four troll friends that like this post. Right. And I could sit here and probably name all four and they're all terrible No, but Wolf has less vocabulary and yells more, so it's more apparent. I don't think the Applebee's parking lot lobotomy helps Steve at all, though. Bet that's something a lot of us have been thinking. Um, Again, they're going up the way Wolf talks, which there's nothing wrong with that. And they have to bring Steve into it. Of course. Of course Jeez, I mean, they're really, really... They need to find something new. Here comes some more Steve stuff. Uh, really, if they didn't have hypocrisy in KJ, would they have anything at all? Feels like you have to agree either way all the crazy things people say about Katie Joy. Funny how Steve McRae always encouraged independent thought. I guess that applies to everything other than KJ and his self-interested victimhood narrative. She's so 
butt hurt over the fact that Steve, like, I think blocked her a while back and called her out as a troll. She has not let it go. But I mean, I don't blame him. I mean, she was literally being super nasty about him. Right. And, you know, other things I can't go into for legal reasons. Okay. Hey, Maya, why not try some time away from the community? You could stay online and still find amazing content, even on X. Look at some art at the, I can't even see that, some great recipes to try, gossip from the best who cover reality TV for, for or good TV, movies, etc. First of all, why are you telling her to, you know, do something else? What's wrong with what she's doing now? I mean, she she can do what she wants on Twitter. She definitely doesn't have to take anything from you. Hey, Tiffany. Glad you made it. Hey, Tiff. Okay, these people will double down till they're blue in the face. Pure evil, all of them. No, you got the wrong ones, the ones you're talking to. Who you've actually called out before are pure evil. Ashamed to admit that I called some of them friends a couple of years ago. Well, hey, we agree on that, don't we? Having been a part of that community, I do believe there are some very nas nasty people there. It's not even all about the money. Some seem to get a strange thrill from trying to make others miserable. Oh, you mean like you and Alice? Yep, you sure do. I think I said, well, aren't you a real peach to Mandy way back? That was considered horrible. I mean, it wasn't nice, but it shows how bad things have gotten. I apologize for that, Mandy. It wasn't nice of me. Of course, she's sucking up to her right now. Of freaking course. Um, and then this is completely different, but this is when Julie started to call out Pickle, because I don't know if y'all know Pickle deactivated and like is MIA. Apparently, I guess some people were maybe questioning some things with her and she hightailed it. Anyway, listen, I did three fundraisers for her from my subs and community. I owe them honesty that things don't add up. I'm not saying there wasn't some truth in her lies at the beginning, but no, now there's so many lies that let's just say if I knew her as much, then I would have never done those. Um I don't know how y'all didn't see this at the jump, but I mean, I guess, you know, I guess sometimes when, you know, you're blinded by things with friends. Um, but anyway, so I don't really think that she's responsible for that person. That's just my opinion. Um, I, I know, I guess she feels like it because she did the fundraisers on her channel. You know what I mean? But yeah. um you know, that person apparently <laughs> lied and deceived a lot of people. So, it's really sad. Um, oh, here we go. Y'all, I want to see some addict shaming. We're about to get in it. You know, because she can't even go a week, a few days without addict shaming and things like that. So, hey, stay so tuned. Like, this huh? be mine. When you get to the other next one, it's probably mine. Okay, no problem. Yeah, right, yeah. yeah, I'll definitely let you take that one. Okay, what's with this bitch? I didn't wipe my account, you obsessed freak. You're running out of content on your boring as fuck channel. Um, <laughs> no, we definitely have plenty of content. I mean, like plenty. We're like, we got stuff planned out for weeks. So no on that. And um, you have an MO of wiping your account every so often when you want to make it seemed like you're not a certain way, like that you don't talk obsessively about me and Wolf or you didn't talk about this one or that one. You will deactivate for whether it's part of a day, a couple of days, wipe stuff off your account because you can literally watch the tweet count go down and stuff like that. And then you will come back and act like nothing ever happened and say you took a break. But you also have, you know, a million sock accounts. So nobody believes you were actually gone. Like nobody, except for maybe what? Willow? <laughs> maybe. That's right. Who talked to herself all week? Yeah. Okay. You got that one? Um, is it that one or is it the next one? I think it's the um, next one. But can you read this one? Because I can't even see it. Yeah. So uh, Joan says, 
What? Lock up for a couple d- days. Block most people. How obsessed would she need to be to know if you've deleted anything at all? Who knows how much she's deleted over the years? And then, of course, Alice says something is really wrong with her. I took a break and haven't mentioned her once since coming back. <laughs> bullshit. I doubt, oh, God, that's such I bullshit. Doubt, I doubt she's sober, to be honest. Okay. Okay, and so there you go. I doubt she's sober, to be honest. That is addict shaming right there. Because, what, first of all, she does not know what's going on with me. And, yes, I am sober. And she so, But she's putting that out there with the hopes that people will think that I'm not, you know, the total addict shaming. It's literally so vile. But of course, would anything else be expected from Alice? I mean, that's the kind of shit she does. And again, you continue to show over and over and over again why you are a troll, why you are such a piece of shit from stuff just like this and the stuff you say to Wolf and others. Go ahead. Oh, here, let me pull the next one up. This is the one you were looking for. Michelle. Oh, you I guess you're you're muted. I'm here. There you are. Okay. I was talking away. <laughs> I figured you were. I was like, wait a minute, she's muted. Uh hi A H. It's good that you're here. Hey um, A H. So this this pissed me off. Number one. The short that you're talking about, Alice, I put up. I did that. Not Megan. Number two, what you, your first statement here, you claiming to be clean for 90 days, does it make you not a nut job? And the, the only little nut job I see is Alice. Right. And the little shot the little needle that you put in there is effing disgusting. Mm-hmm. You are vile. Another way. And you need to yep. get the hell off of social media if that's all you can come up with. If you want to fight a fight with somebody, fight a clean fight, not a freaking disgusting, vile, um, addict shaming, you know, I don't know what to say. I'm, I'm just mad. I, if you are so bothered by me, stop talking about me. We wouldn't talk about you if you didn't screenshot a freaking short that I did and start saying shit like you said on this. You right. are and the then what grasses. about the last the, 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 the last couple of years of you <laughs> literally trashing me every single day over and over and over again? So don't act like you're not the obsessed stalker because you are. Now, right. when you say stuff like this, to addict shame me or or even if it was somebody else, we would be right here showing it. Even if this was somebody else that was doing it, we are going to show it because we're going to keep exposing all of you that keep doing this because all of this bullying that y'all are doing is vile and it needs to be called out. Right. Um, you are the harasser using old tweets. Didn't use an old tweet. Didn't use nope. an old tweet. Out of context for YouTube content. No. Not out really of context. No, what that no. was, what that short was, was a precursor to tonight's live. That's what that was. That's yep. what that was. Exactly. So there you go. What you did was harassing and bullying and shaming and vile and disgusting absolutely you need to get off of twitter permanently permanently i don't think she would know what to do with herself because she literally sits at the computer doing this kind of stuff all day and get all a night, job you know get a job maybe do something go be something the door breaker at walmart <laughs> something um <laughs> Oh. Okay, and then I had this comment today under my community tab. You're cool with the hogs and wolf who both addict shame. Make it make sense, lady. First of all, they don't go around addict shaming anybody. They don't. 
Okay. Like um, Wolf made a comment earlier that he doesn't have to, you know, um, be nice to the person that has literally made racist comments to him for over a year or two. Uh, so, but that doesn't mean they're not going around and seeking people out to addict shame like a lot of you trolls do. So there, I just made it made sense for you, lady. Yeah. <laughs> That's truly. Can uh, you um, read this one? It's one of those phone ones where it's tiny for me. Uh, no, I cannot. It's too tiny for me even to read on the TV. Okay, let me see if I can. Oh, you know what? I'll I'll look at it on my phone, I think. Let me see if I still have it in there. Just talk for a second while I find it. <laughs> okay, I'll just talk. <laughs> Let me read some comments. So Okay, Mon yeah, there you go. If this Alice just ignored and didn't tweet about you all, you would not be able to use her tweets for content. Just saying. You're right, Laura. Um, you are absolutely correct. And you know, she's the one that started the whole crap today because I guess within probably a minute of her um, doing the tweet, you know, the prior one that I just got so angry about, it was probably a minute later that we received that. So you're right. Um, I mean, Mason. Yeah. Um, I'm, well, I mean... I don't know if she'll ever stop though, but you know, or any of the, or any of these people, I don't know. I might've got, I don't know if I had, I don't know. That one might've been in somewhere else. Who knows? I have stuff everywhere. All right. I'll just skip it for now. Um, it, it was another comment about that whole, um, pickle situation. I think that that's what that was. Okay. Um, yeah, AH, this stuff is sad. It's sad because, I mean, you weren't, well, you weren't here for the beginning, but it's sad because it's all about, you know, it's all about shaming people, whether it's racism right. or addict shaming or mom shaming. So, yeah, that's all they can come up with. Exactly. Um, uh, so Twitter um, Lady Willow said in this one, she has no idea why people talk about that stream. And we're talking about the late night chat and 200 plus subs celebration, which by the way, we're now at 273 the last time I looked. So there's that. Right. It has nothing to do with anything about. Oh my goodness. Talking I guess about wolf, wolf, wolf. Wolf. Yeah. yeah. More to do with who heard all the four-letter words. Why did she stop comments and edit it? Well, we stopped comments because, once again, we were getting a bunch of comments that um, were uncalled for. So that's why right. the comments were shut off. I'm not going to sit there and let people come leave really yeah. nasty comments like that about, you know, me and my child or Wolf. So... I turned the, the comments off, you know, and um, it's my channel and I can do, you know, the same with Michelle. We can do what we want with our lives, our videos, any of it. So, and we don't have to give you an answer for any of this except get the fuck over it. How's that? So Tiffany's snacking on mini Reese's. Oh, that sounds good. Yes, it does. It's more interesting that her dummies think I <clears throat> initiated anything about her since I have been back. It was Megan creating drama by making a short um, on YouTube using an old tweet of mine and saying I wipe my Twitter. She's obsessed and misleads her followers. Actually, no, you said some stuff before that, but then you deleted it to try to make it seem like, you know, uh, that we were trying to start stuff. You can't go without talking about me wolf or steve or some of these other people that you harass on a daily basis so this is just you trying to get your little people and that's all that listen to you anyway what maybe three or four people um if that buy your bullshit lies because everybody knows that you are a troll and have been for years and that's all you will ever be um, Laura's got a good question. She says, why are they so threatened 
by you all having a channel. It doesn't make sense. Um, I don't know. You know, I don't know if it's because, you know, we can come up here and call them out and they don't like it. We can put out the truth. We can show some of their some things that they're probably scared that they don't want to come out. I, I'm not sure what it is. If it's all of that, if it's something I'm missing, I don't know. Wow. we've got But they are bothered big time. I mean, from the minute that we launched this channel, they have been all out attacking. Mm. And Wolf has the tweets. <laughs> yep. That's very true. And nobody oh, is man. mad about anything. She's trash trying to sell herself the story she isn't. Why would that make anyone mad? Doesn't she have three kids with three different baby daddies? Let's address that question. No, they do not have three different baby daddies. You complete idiot. Uh, maybe people posted about her inappropriately involving her daughter as a wake up call. No. Uh Why would that be a wake up call? She came in. She's 12 years old, not two, you dumbass. And she said happy birthday for 30 seconds to Wolf. We're all really close friends. Okay. And that she left out. If I went and asked her right now, hey, what were we talking about on that live that um, that night that you came and said happy birthday? You know what she would say? I don't know, mom, because she wasn't listening. Right. Yeah. That's exactly what she yeah. would say. Y'all have made a big deal about it because you have nothing else to go after me for. Why? Well, I mean, one of y'all clowns are behind the Danny drama thing too. So there's that. Oh, that was a good, that's a good answer there, moderate. I think you're right. <laughs> what did he say? Read it to yeah. me. He says, Fine Mom Laura, I think because it's all on a playlist now, most content isn't about this drama. But one night a week, but one night a week, another goes in the list where their nasty tweets, with their nasty tweets, and in, I know what that word is, but I can't pronounce it. <laughs> oh. Oh, insinuations. Yeah, insinuations. Yeah. That's it. Um, but yeah, you're right. That's a good answer. <laughs> but yep. And, you know, I think they hate having all their nasty put out there because before we started doing this, nobody was really exposing them on a live, mm -hmm. you know, very often, if at all. So, you know, somebody's got to do it. They, they, they need to. I think. I mean, it obviously gets to them. People need to see what they're about. Right. Um, this is horrible. This one is an older tweet, and Wolf reshared this today, you know, like kind of making a point about Alice and the kind of things that she says. Yeah. Um, Alice had made this comment about Rennell. Um, I hear their ramblings from the trap house over on Rennell's thread. Ignore it. Once the weed man comes, he will chill. So, you know, to Wolf, too. It's disgusting. I mean, I think that tweet, I don't need to explain it. I and mean, y'all can see how nasty that is. Mm. That's the kind of stuff she does over and over and over again. Oh, I was um, reading something in the comments. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, so... I don't know what this is in reference to, but exactly. She, Wolf. yeah, they hate people seeing the truth about them. This is a mirror. Exactly. Exactly. Well, right. always said when yeah. I, if I ever started a channel, it was going to be, you know, it's going to be time to start exposing some, some of these trolls. Right. And that's what we're doing. We don't try to do it often. You know, it might be once a week. It might be less than that eventually, but, um, we're just, we have our reasons. It's true. A yappy dog on a short leash. Here we go with the dog comments again. He will say that's racist. It's not. Steve has several of them on short leashes. Okay. Why do y'all think that Steve has us on leashes or that we work for him or he's our boss or whatever the hell is it that you say? It's so stupid. 
I know, right? LOL. He says all sorts of shit dehumanizing people. Think of everything he said about Chesh alone. These people, I swear, zero self-reflection. I know. He referred to my autism as Asperger's. Fragile little, I can't even see that. What what she said right there. Fragile that little are. poops. It says poops. Oh, poops. Okay. Um, they're okay. Whatever, Alice. What was it? You came out and said that, that you had autism only like after a year or two of finally getting pushed back. And that's when you decided to go throw that in everybody's face. Okay, whatever. Oh, my. Anyway, it's so gross. These comments that they're making about Wolf. I swear, it's so nasty. You want to read some, or can you see it? Is it too small for you, too? No, I can see it. Okay. Um, it's never been about being truthful or correct when it comes to him, says the cat returns, and then Alice responds. Anyone who has to constantly say they spit facts or how honest they are probably isn't those things. You're wrong, Alice. You are so wrong. Didn't he steal Emily D. Baker saying we deal in facts, not uckery? <laughs> no, he did not steal no. that. No. They just, again, they just come up with stuff. Right. Um, I'm sure he has. He uses that as at a shield on social media, though. No, he does not. And then the cat return says, as a black person is talking about him, not me. I'm mixed breeds, but not a black human mix. Oh, my right. God. Really? 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 And you know what? They they have no problems. Like, they, they think that saying these things are okay. And I saw, I don't know if I put that, that tweet in here, but I have it where Alice says she's mixed too. Oh, my God. Since when? Wolf calls people racist like Steve calls a knock at the door swatting or a <laughs> drunk woman flirting. Oh, my God. Y'all are disgusting. And that is not true. Wolf only calls out the people who are really racist, like you idiots. Here it is. He knows I'm mixed as well. He's pathetic. He has made fun of my facial features that are characteristically due to my ethnicity. He is vile. Never go full Jesse Smollett and never use accusations of racism as a shield or sword. It only hurts people who have actually experienced racism and talk about their experiences. That's all Wolf does. It's disgusting. Oh this whole this whole thing is disgusting. <laughs> Every word of this is what's disgusting. Right. Yeah. Never go full Jesse Smollett. Really? Wow. Well. Mm -mm -mm. And, and he's never talked about your damn facial features in any kind of way like that or made fun of your race. Alice, give me an effing break. You are so full of shit. At Secrets Anyone and anyone else Megan is targeting on Twitter to use for her YouTube content, please tag him. She's telling people to tag, I guess, the CEO of YouTube. Nobody's. What about you that has literally been harassing, threatening, addict shaming, racist comments, and mom shaming, and everything else attacking my child? And I mean, many other things I'm not naming over and over again every day for the last two years. Who do we need to tag about that? Oh, wow. This is nobody's, nobody's harassing Alice. Yeah. Nobody wants to harass Alice. We just want her to stop. Uh -huh. Then she says, this is the way flowers, which is me, thinks. It's pathological. She claims I talk about her every day, which you do. I haven't even been on every day. Oh, what? You deactivated for two days, but you were on. You were just under a sock account. So, yeah, you were on. And only respond to her on in her minions attacks too bad she won't look at her own behavior that's the disease though it's sad first of all you don't know shit 
about the disease of addiction. You don't know anything. And why, and why can I say that? Because of your repeated comments about addiction. It proves that you don't know anything about it. Like this comment right here. This is not my disease doing anything. This is me showing your nasty bullying behavior. That's what I'm doing. I'm not doing this because my disease or anything. I'm doing this because I want to. How's that? Uh -huh. And because you need to be called out. And nobody's done it before. So it's time. And just for the record, um, Megan doesn't have any minions. So No. I have friends, not minions. Yeah. That's it. LOL, have you seen how Wolf has me muted? So every time he looks at my tweets, which is often, he has to go through the extra step of unhiding each one. Makes me laugh so hard. I doubt that that's true. But whatever you need to tell yourself, cat returns to get by. I really doubt that's true. <laughs> it actually makes me laugh. He'll literally say anything depending on what Steve wants and how manic he is at the moment. See, here they go again thinking that Steve is calling all the shots, but he's not. Y'all are so dumb. Absolutely. Oh, I lost my spot. Damn it. Uh -oh. Great. I got I to gotta figure out where I was. Hang on. Um, let me just push one and see where I was. Okay, we were down a little bit from there. Um, okay, yeah, we did that um, one. Uh, Wolf, did you get rid of that comment, please? Let me see. Let me see. Where? I don't see anything. Look in oh, the my chat. My chat might not be refreshed. You need to look in, um, look in, um, can you look in StreamYard chat? Because it's there. Um, no, he didn't. He didn't addict shame anybody. And no, he doesn't do it to everyone. And he doesn't call them a, a pedo when he doesn't like them. He's only, he's called one person that for a very, very good reason and I don't have to explain that to you. So actually, you're wrong. And you could get the F out of my chat. How's that? Bye-bye. Mods, please. Thank you. Already gone. Uh, okay. Um, Wolf took care of it. Thank you, Wolf. I figured they'd stop coming in here, those idiots. I'm not putting up with y'all shit in my chat. So you might as well not come. Sorry. Okay, I'm just trying to find where I was. We're almost to the bottom. Okay, uh, we read that one, the Jesse Smollett comment that pisses me off. Can right. you even afford a plane ticket to Boulder, Colorado to physically attack me over tweets? You know, when you resort to violence like this, it just shows you are unable to cope with Twitter interactions, which is pretty sad. I don't think Wolf ever said he was going to come to your house, you dumbass. <clears throat> LOL, his speaking the truth, and of course, they're making fun of him and the way he talks and things like that. Disgusting. Ooh. Absolutely disgusting. That was the last one. You know the people who try to put you down to make themselves feel. What the Sorry, heck? y'all. Didn't mean to press that. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> You're pulling the main Wrong button. <laughs> Wrong button. Main. That might um, have been a good one to show, though. I know it really might have been a good one to show, but that's yeah. okay. Yeah. Anyway, so um, again, we just had these are just the latest in the string of nasty, bullying, racist, addict shaming, mom shaming, attacking kids, threatening to go real life kind of comments. <laughs> so Tiffany, look at Tiffany says she needs Steve to give her some new orders. <laughs> Oh, you might be my minion. Okay, I saw that earlier. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you talking that about that was funny. Yeah. Oh, I'm talking to moderate. He sent me something yeah. earlier, a video that was really funny. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I saw where he said he might be your minion, but I didn't read it because Yeah. Right. I no, I figured video. you didn't say you were going anywhere, Wolf. I I 
I kind of figured they either twisted something you said or completely made that up. You know, I knew you would. I've never seen you threaten to go beat anybody up, go real life on them or drive to their house. Anything like that ever. And to these idiots that think that Wolf goes around calling people pedophiles and addict shames, you're wrong. You're absolutely wrong. Oh, yeah. Oh, excuse me, y'all. I'm guessing that was Alice. Because I'm, you know, pretty sure that's who's behind that damn channel anyway. If not her, one of her clown friends. Right. Right, right, right. So, yeah. just another piece of trash. Oh, yeah. That whole group that hangs out together now. Willow, Alice, Moby, Sue, all of them. Yeah. Yeah. Sue needed to and be called. two little minions, them. Hope and um, Debbie Drury, all trash, all trolls. Right. Oh, that's okay, Tammy Sue. I, I, that's why I said I knew that Wolf had gotten rid of it because <laughs> I think he commented right under it. But it's about something else, though. But yeah. Oh yeah, I'm I sure he got. I'll look at the screenshot later. I'm sure he got a screenshot of it, so I can see it later. The chat would, had frozen on me, so it wasn't refreshing. It's it's moving again now, but um, so. When you had said it was there, I didn't see it. I had to go look at it in StreamYards. Oh, yeah. That's where I, I mean, that's what I'm looking at right now, StreamYards. Well, that's I popped the chat mm -hmm. out from YouTube, and then I'll close YouTube and just leave the chat popped out. So yeah. that way, in case I ever need to mod, which I never have to because we always have plenty of mods yeah. here. So, and to try to keep an eye on the comments. But when I'm reading, I don't really get to pay attention to the chat like I want to. It's kind of hard. So, Tiffany, since you said that, um, <laughs> you take orders from me because you are my minion. Yeah, no, she says, or Megan, since I take orders from you as well, let me know my new orders. Well, we've been talking about <laughs> something for you, so. We actually we have something for you. <laughs> right. But it's right. a good we, thing. Yeah, it's a good thing. We've been talking about Oh, that's about okay, AH. I think I know what you meant. I'm the queen of typos. Like, I don't think I can even go a day without making a typo, but they all it's gotten to where they they know what I'm saying. <laughs> they literally can translate my Megan talk in typing because I'm always making typos <laughs> every yeah. day. Yeah, you do. Is is a mod like a mod? <laughs> oh my god. Indeed. Indeed, moderate, indeed. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I get that because you told me that story. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was supposed to say, what? What is she talking about? Then it dawned on me. Oh, my goodness. Um, <laughs> you know, I'm having too much fun. <laughs> I'm tired though. I guess that's why I'm laughing so much. And I know we needed to laugh. We need to have a laugh after all that BS. <laughs> yeah. And it was BS because it was so funny how it was it came from ill gotten gains. You know, they come in here or she comes in here and takes a right. screenshot of a freaking short. That was, you know, like I and said, and then decides earlier. to go addict shame and put a picture of right. a needle up in the in the post, you know. Right. But I yeah. mean, see, doing all those kind of things that makes her feel good. That's how miserable she is with herself that she has to say things like that to people. You right. know, like normal people don't go around saying things like that at all. Like you would never see us going and posting things like that to other people, even people we don't like. You know, like we would never do something like that. It's just not normal. Oh. But yeah, um, no, you're right, AH, uh, about it keeps people, so many from YouTube, you know, absolutely. Um, Tiffany, we're going to, I guess, do trivia Sunday night. That's our. Good night, Tammy. I know it's late. I yeah. know it's, um, I got to, I got to crash soon myself, but, um, 
yeah, what are we? You want to do trivia, or we're going to play a game well, for sure on. She asked what night Sunday? we were doing trivia, and Sunday okay. is our designated game night. So. Yeah, we can do trivia Sunday for sure. I'll um because I think that second, that last trivia site that we were using was much better than the yes. first ones we were using. Yeah, the questions were better. We were having more fun. We were laughing. Right. Um, they were the you know I think we were having a better time, you know, with guessing. Yeah, um, we knew a lot of the songs under the music category, that kind of thing. So well. Y'all did. I didn't because I'm older than crap. But anyway, I don't know nothing about yeah, that. Yeah, well, it was fun, but we'll have to. Yeah, it then, was a lot so of we'll fun. We'll do trivia and then we'll then we can like go to um the next week. We could go back to Hangman because that was really fun, too. I enjoyed playing Hangman with everybody. We have oh, some, uh, some of y'all are way. really good at guessing those Hangman words with barely any letters up there. You know, y'all are really good at it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she said that Laura had wanted to know what night we were doing trivia. Oh earlier. yeah, um, we need to we need to remember to send her a reminder um, yeah. Sunday. Right. We're trying to keep it every Sunday so that way, you know, everybody will know when to come. Oh my goodness, Ah, you're a wrestling fan too. Wolf is a big wrestling fan. Yeah, so is my be- son. My son <laughs> loves wrestling. I'm sure he'll be watching WrestleMania. We're going to do it at 8.30 Sunday night. Yeah. 8.30 Central. Of you course, I mean, we can always bump it up a little earlier if anybody needs us to. But we try to stay around 8.30, no later than 9. Um, the only reason I started this at 9 tonight is I just needed like a little an extra time. But other than that, 8.30 is always our time. Right. So, okay. but I think, um, is there anything else you wanted to say on any of this before we wrap it up? No, I had my say at the beginning and Tiffany and anybody else that didn't, wasn't here for the very start. Y'all go back and listen to the beginning because I made a speech. So <laughs> I addressed it. You did. Things. And it was a very good one too. Thank you. Thank you. But no, I reckon I'm done. Okay, good. And I think. To go um, to bed too. Yeah, and tomorrow's Friday, so I hope everybody has a good weekend. Um, we'll probably we will probably see y'all before Sunday. Just look out for us, just in case something pops up. Um, if not, definitely Sunday for game night. And I hope everybody has a good night. And we um, have a live schedule for tomorrow night, but we have not released what it's about yet. It's not about trolls. So no, it's not trolls. Um, so we're we we're trying be, to finish gathering information well, to make yeah. sure we're going to have it ready. So we will let y'all know tomorrow for sure. Yeah, yeah. It won't be we'll, before noon. We'll let you know. Alrighty, you ready to get out of here, girl? Yes, I'm ready. Y'all have a good night. Yep, have a good night, y'all.